It certainly is, Penny. This is where they make scotch tape, you know. What? Is this the lake where the monster is supposed to live? <laughs> Maybe that's why Chief Crumby sent you up here. Don't be ridiculous. There are no such thing as monsters. You can take my word for that. There is absolutely nothing in that lake. <laughs> So sure, Gadget, you can never tell what lies below the surface. <laughs> right, Mad Cat? overheating again. Now, where's that book that tells you what to do? It's here somewhere. Oh, gadget! Oh, no! Got him. <gasps> it says, pull over and stop. Well, I did that. Say, this road has certainly gotten a smaller. They ought to put up a warning sign. Hmm. Quiet. I heard something. Is that you, Chief? Speak louder. I can't hear you. But, Uncle, it's Chief Quimby. I know that, Penny. I mean, he's here. Oh, sorry, Chief. I didn't see you. There was a sheep in the way. Read this note and look at this picture. Professor Thumpkin, world's leading scientist, has just arrived in Scotland to search for the lake monster. Dr. Claw will try to kidnap him. Your mission is to protect the professor from the forces of mad. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. With Gadget on the job, Thumpkin is as safe as you are. Look, Gadget, just... Oh! That's what I'm afraid of. You escaped that time, Gadget, but you'll never arrive in time to save the professor. Is everything ready? Ready, Dr. Claw. We can see him coming. Good. Gadget, I've got you now. <laughs> That's what I like. 
a well-marked road. Now, let's see. Estimate time of arrival, lock nest, find professor. <laughs> Wowzers, this road needs a lot of work. <laughs> Tell me how I get to Loch Ness. Hmm. These people are not very friendly, Penny. We'll find our own way. Professor Bumpkin is supposed to be right here. There's no sign of him or his mobile laboratory. He's probably just going for a walk. Why would he take the whole lab? You mean the lab's gone too? That's right. Hmm. It's just a suspicion, but I think the professor's disappeared. Benny, you wait at the hotel. I'm going to look for him. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Be careful. I'm always careful. That's what makes me a great inspector. Understand why they put trees in backup zones. I'm worried. Uncle Gadget is supposed to protect Professor Fumpkin from Dr. Claw. Keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, Brain, but don't let him see you. I'm going to set up a radar computer on the far side of the lake and see if I can locate that monster. I'll see you later. Now let's work this out logically. Professor Funkin wanted to see what was in the lake. If someone wants to see, he has to get up high. What's high? A tree. Therefore, Professor Funkin must be up a tree. Professor? Come down this minute. I know you're up there. All right, I'm coming up after you. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Here I come. Of all the times for my spring to break. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Go, go, Gadget Arms. He must be up another tree. <laughs> Gadget doesn't even suspect we're here. He's in for a surprise, isn't he, Mad Gadget? <laughs> it for an underwater search. There's something there. I knew it. Boy, it's big and fast. If it would only come closer, I might be able to get a picture scan. All right, Professor. I've got you this time. What was that? There's something there. Now for my gadget camera. Ah, the camera never lies. Look at that. Why, it's horrible. What if it's captured the professor? Don't worry, professor. I'm coming. Uncle Gadget. <laughs> 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 
They didn't say anything about rain today on the weather report. Hmm. Either that fish has a driver's license, or I'm underwater. Wowzers! Go, go, Gadget! Oh. Now for a little hilarious gas for pleasure. They're coming closer. Maybe I can get a picture. Golly, that's the Gadget Mobile. And that's Brain. There's something coming up behind them. It's a. Oh my gosh! Brain, Brain, look behind you! <laughs> There it goes. You won't get away this time. Hurry! Hurry, it's gaining! Looks like something from Professor Funkin's mobile laboratory. Are you all right, Uncle Gadget? Mm -hmm. Oh, Penny, yes, fine. It takes more than an underwater creature to worry your uncle. I didn't think you saw it. Of course I did. I was just about to catch it. What? Oh, right. Oh, Uncle Gadget is... Sorry, Penny, no time now. I'm hot on Funkin's trail. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Brain, I have to rebuild this computer. You follow Uncle Gadget. Look at all this junk. Now if I could just find a trash can. Ah, what do you know? Scottish walking stick. Mm, nice one, too. But I'll not be needing that now. Last. Finished. Even better than before. I wonder if I can spot that monster. There it is. You know, there's something funny about it. It's the feet. They're... They're tractor treads. Why, it's not real. It's a machine monster. That means someone must have built it. Dr. Claw! Uncle Gadget! Brain! Brain, come in! Brain, you've got to warn Uncle Gadget. He's standing in front of the monster. Just a few more steps backward. Where? Where could they have taken them? Wait a second. This cave looks suspicious. Yes, I bet that's it. Claw has hidden the professor in this cave. I'm coming, professor! At last. It's an earthquake. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello there. Ah, Professor Funkin, I presume. He's there, all right. Exactly where I want him. <laughs> what are you laughing for? 
I did all the work. Who are you? Inspector Gadget, at your service. Now, don't thank me for finding you. Just doing my job. What job? To protect you, of course. Wonderful. But how do we get out of here? The way we came in, of course. Right out that door. Hmm. I see your point, Professor. No problem. A quick slice with my gadget laser. Well, that door is obviously impenetrable. Please, Inspector Gadget. Couldn't we just sit here and wait? Nonsense. Inspector Gadget never waits. Ah, you see, there's the motor. I'll just make a small adjustment. No, Mr. Gadget. Please. There. Inspector, I wish to surrender. Nothing could be worse than your protection. Surrender? Inspector Gadget never surrenders. Besides, I think I found the computer connection. A delicate little twist of the gadget wrench. <gasps> oh, no. See? No need to be alarmed with Gadget on the job. <laughs> It's running amok. And it's coming this way. Out of my way, Mad Cat. Everything is going to be just fine. Gosh, look! It's out of control! The guidance system must have shorted. It did! I knew it! See? It's in his head! Gadget, you save the professor. Well done, Gadget. Uh, thank you. What's that? Is it alive? Never mind. All that matters is you've rescued Professor Funkin. You're a hero. I am? Oh, uh, yes, of course I am. Inspector Gadget does it again. Well, you haven't seen the last of Dr. Clark Gadget. That was great, Uncle Gadget. I'm really proud of you. Well, if I say so myself, they picked the right man. Look, the professor's waking up. Feeling better, Professor? <laughs> Keep him away from me! I wonder what's wrong with him. Legs are really nice.
nice. But always remember, they can be very deep, so never swim out too far. And if you go out in a boat, make sure you've got a life jacket for each of the passengers. And don't load too many people in one boat. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> That's right, Brain. Most of all, don't swim in lakes with monsters. Monsters? Where? 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 Ready to wait for me? vacation. Right, Brain? <laughs> wow! This pole will catch anything! Oh, no! That's the top-secret gadget phone. <laughs> okay, Chief. I'll be right there. <laughs> but, Uncle Gadget, you promised. Uh, uh, sorry, Penny. Uh, vacation's <laughs> off. Uh, we'll have to wait. Uh, <laughs> Always on duty. Hmm, that's odd. I'm sure the chief said to meet him here. Aha! So there you are, chief. I must congratulate you on your clever disguise. Whoops. Hmm. Pick up my hat. 
our assignment is inside. A highly experimental missile has been stolen by Dr. Claw. It is believed he will use the missile to destroy Metro City. Your assignment is to find the missile and prevent Dr. Claw from carrying out his plan. Dr. Claw has a mad installation at a farm outside Metro City. That's where to start. Got it, Chief. Oh, there's something else written here. This message will self-destruct in ten seconds. Yikes! Remember, Brain, no matter what happens, you've got to stay close to Uncle Gadget. Here he comes. Act natural. Now, why did they put four doors where one would do? Well, Penny, looks like I'll be getting some of that country air after all. I have to visit a farm. has just passed checkpoint number one. Oops. Morning, neighbor. Maybe you could give me a helping hand. I'm looking for a certain, um, doctor. The only doc in these parts is old Doc Painless. There's enough sleeping drug on this dot to put a horse to sleep. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Inspector Gadget. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. How clumsy of me. I'll just pick these up. find this Doc Painless. Doc? Doc Painless? Oh, right. Uh, you, you take a right. Uh, go right again. Uh, uh, and then there's a left. Did he say a left the next two rights, then another left, or was it... Anyhow, I guess I'd better fill her up. Probably my last chance for miles. These old pumps are quaint, but they sure have short hoses. Now, what was that? A right, a left, another right, no, two lefts and a right. Fools, where is he now? If he followed our directions, he should be miles away. Get out there and make sure. I give the orders, Mad Cat. 
there's no time to lose. I've got to find Dr. Claw's farm and stop him before he destroys Metro City with that stolen missile. It's not a left or a right. Ah, I know, two rights, then a wrong. Hey, no, wait. Out of gas? That's impossible. I just filled it up. Hmm. Well, I can get gas and directions at that farm. Huh? Someone tell the boss there's someone snooping around. Anybody home? Hmm. Place seems deserted. Probably out completing their honest day's chores. Maybe... I'll just wait for them. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How convenient. This place has everything. <laughs> He's going to have a hard time breathing with all these sheep on top of him. Uh, yeah, they should go help him go to sleep permanently. It's stuffy in here, hard to breathe. <laughs> go, go, gadget legs! <laughs> it really should be illegal to keep this many pets in the house. like trouble brain i'll be there on the next bus stand around here all day. I have to find the stolen missile before MAD destroys Metro City. Yes, The world's greatest detective has done it again. Ow! Go, Gadget, go! Good work, Gadget. Wowzers! So much for energy conservation. Now I'll have to go back and find some more. Maria, Dr. Claw's waiting for these missile parts. Holy cow! The place is crawling with agents from MAD. I have a message for Chief Quimby. Hmm. Where are the farmers that own this place? You there! Stop where you are! Oh no! He's seen us! Yeah. If Dr. Claw finds out he spotted us with this! Run! Hold it! I just need a little gas! And I thought farm folk were such friendly people. <laughs> What? Ah, there you are. What's their problem? Hay bales with legs? Ah, oh, there you are! Now if I could 
you just have a moment of your time? Rain. Rain, where are you? I don't like this. Stop! You don't understand! This is an emergency! I just want to borrow some gasoline! I have to locate a stolen missile before it destroys Metro City! So it's Gadget. <laughs> Now's my chance. If he's up there, when the missile takes off, he'll burn up like a piece of toast. <laughs> Are you ready? All systems go. Excellent. Prepare for countdown. Gadgets, I finally got you when I want you. The silo? This is a mad headquarters, Brain. Uncle Gadget's in trouble. We've got to get in there, Brain. Do you have any idea how? A door? Good boy. Now stand back. Control room. Check that warhead. Oh, Brain, you did it! Oops. 
Ah, sorry about that, Chief. <sighs> Great job, Gadget. But tell me something. How did you cause the malfunction? Frankly, I wouldn't have the vaguest idea what to do. Ah, uh, well, Chief, all you have to do is, uh, read the instructions. But I'll pay for the door. You're much too modest. Thank you. Now I must get on with my missile investigation. But, Gadget, the case is closed. As a matter of fact, I'm putting you on immediate vacation for doing such a good job. But, Chief, my job will never be done until I have Dr. Claw behind bars. Never, Gadget. Never. You will never get me, Gadget. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> that voice sounds familiar. Uncle Gadget, are you all right? Penny, how did you get here anyway? Well, I... We... We were... Don't say another word. Chief Quimby brought you along so that we could all spend an afternoon in the country together. How thoughtful of you. Am I right? <laughs> Inspector Gadget is always right. Well, except for that time in Tangiers. And then there was that mess in Austria. I was almost right. Would you believe close? How about half right? Most of the time? No. Well... are great fun to visit, but just like the city, you still have to be careful. Never play on or near any kind of farm equipment. It's much too dangerous, even when it's not operating. Well, farm animals are a lot more interesting anyway, Uncle Gadget. But you should be as careful with livestock as you are with any other animals. Uncle Gadget, I think you're going the wrong way. I was certain I turned clean. Or was it right? I know. I should turn straight. No? Maybe straight left. Straight right? surprise you, Penny. I have a little top secret business to take care of here, but it shouldn't take all day. Ooh. This is as far as we go. Do you know you're blocking a public thoroughfare? I insist you remove yourself immediately. If you don't, I'll see you in traffic court. Okay, you've had your warning. I'm running you in. I'm all right. 
A good detective is always on his nose. Uh, I mean, toes. Uh, I was just investigating things from a different angle. And, uh... Oh. I think I smell something. Smell? Yes, Penny, I smell popcorn. Ah. Gadget. Chief Quimby, when did you run away to join the circus? I'm not joining the circus, Gadget. You are. Here's your assignment, Gadget. Agents of MAD disguised as circus performers have infiltrated this circus. They are using it as a freely moving base from which to loot and steal. The mission is to expose them and destroy Dr. Claw's cover. This message will self-destruct in 30 seconds. But, Chief... What would mad agents want to steal from a circus? No, no. They disguise themselves as circus performers and do Dr. Claw's dirty work anywhere the circus stops. I'll just infiltrate this circus myself and flush out these mad agents. (laughs) Gadget thinks he can expose my agents and destroy my cover. Show him how dangerous circus life can be. Right, Mad Cat. <laughs> I think we're going to have to try and help Uncle Gadget on this one, Brain. You've got to make sure that Dr. Claw's agents don't spot him first. I'm going to look around for some evidence, but I'm not sure where to start. Uh, Uncle Gadget! Ta-da! Well, what do you think of my disguise, Penny? The ringmaster gave me the job. OJ. You sure did. But your shoes are on the wrong feet. That's all part of it, Penny. Let those mad agents think I'm a foolish clown, and before long, they'll be laughing on the other side of their faces. <laughs> Good idea, Uncle Gadget. They'll never suspect a clown that's just hanging around. Precisely. Now you two go and enjoy the show. I've got work to do. <laughs> Remember, Brown, follow him and keep your eyes and ears open. <laughs> By the way, what happened to the clown I'm replacing? Er, uh, um, uh, he, he caught a cold. Uh, I really appreciate your filling in for him. You say you've had circus experience. I've seen enough of them to know what I'm doing. Well, here goes. Dr. Claw wants Gadget eliminated. Don't worry, I filled the car up with rocket fuel. It'll hit him so hard, he'll end up in orbit. (laughs) (laughs) That's what you get for not rehearsing. Ta-da! My plan is working No, no, ladies and gentlemen, you're too kind. And what have you done with my balloons? Yeah! Hi there. There's something about that ring monster I don't like. I'll give our ringmaster one more chance. Brain, how's it going? Listen, Brain, there's something suspicious about that ringmaster. I'm going to check his trailer for clues. Stick with Uncle Gadget. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, I'm looking for the clown's trailer. One of them's a friend of mine, and, uh... Well, that's not it. The clown's trailer is over there. Thank you very much, sir. What happened to Gadget? Oh, oh, oh well, well, we tried. Well, then, try again. I want results. Gadget must be eliminated before he discovers you and my other agents. How about an animal act? Yes, that's... Solve our problems. 
It's like I always say, Penny. If you can't lick them, join them. Then lick them. I don't know about this, Uncle Gadget. It's the next step in my plan, Penny. By going a couple of rounds with this lion, I'll earn the respect of all the other performers. If they know of any suspicious characters, they'll be sure to tell me about them. But a lion tamer... Don't worry, Penny. I've already worked it out with Brutus here. He's as harmless as a kitten. Besides, I have a way with animals, big or small. If you say so, Uncle Gadget. Go get yourself a good seat. We've worked out quite an act. Okay, Brutus. Put on a good show, and I'll see what I can do about getting you out of that cage on good behavior. <laughs> Bye now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the center ring, I give you the great Gizmo and his ferocious lion. <laughs> Brutus, well, well, I didn't think you had it in you. Remember, we've got to make this look good. working perfectly, Penny, but the next step calls for careful strategy. I have two suspects, but I don't want to make my move until I'm sure I know which circus performers are really mad agents. Uh, what about the ringmaster, Uncle Gadget? Oh, no, Penny. He's a nice man. Let's see if he can help. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to try out for another circus job. I'll take anything. What a coincidence. I was coming to see you about filling in for one of our trapeze artists. What's wrong with him? Oh, just a little cold. Wow, must get pretty crafty up there on those swings. I know that ringmaster's up to something, but we need proof. That's it, Bray. The flying zucchinis. The trapeze artists. Whoa, whoa. You want Chuckle Gadget. I'll be back in a while. 
may I present the Flying Zucchinis, the greatest death-defying trapeze artists in the world. Didn't look this high from down there. At least they have a safety net. Better safe than sore, that's what I always say. I was walking along, and then everything went black. I'm all right. Thank you. Brain? Brain, the ringmaster lied. Zucchini Brother was purposely taken out of the show. It's a trap. <laughs> The zucchinis will attempt a daring triple loop de loop without a net. You look suspiciously familiar. Uh, so, Gadget, you want to be a star, do you? You'll soon be a shooting star. <laughs> that working without a net is dangerous? And another thing, if there are three zucchinis and one of them didn't make it, then who are you? Aha! I knew it all along! Hey, you! Wait a minute! Yaha! It's all a man plucked to toss me in a zucchini salad! Before him, he's on the way. 
And for his second amazing feat, Mr. Indestructible will dive from the top of the tent into this tub of water. Why, the chances of surviving a fall from this height must be one in a zillion. That is, if it wasn't for my trusty gadget, Brella. <laughs> Mr. Indestructible will do a double backflip into a barrel. Yeah! And for his last and very final stunt, Mr. Indestructible will become the Human Cannonball. Quick, Brain, stop the clown while I try to lock into the cannon motor. <laughs> I have to change the angle of projection or Uncle Gadget will hit the brick wall. There's not enough time. After him. Don't let him get away. Gadget did it again, flushed out the mad agent single-handed. But to where is he, Penny? I want to congratulate him on another fine job. No! That sounds like Uncle Gadget. <laughs> Curses. Gadget has uncovered our undercover operation, but no one will ever uncover me or Mad Cat. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to call the airport. That plane has a real dirty engine. Remember, Penny, circus stunts are for circus pros. They take years of practice. That's why they look so easy. We kids should never take unnecessary risks on our bicycles. Always walk your bicycles across streets and intersections. And when riding at night, be sure to wear something white so people can see you. And that goes for skateboards and scooters, too. Uncle, you better be careful, too. Don't worry. I have the situation well in hand. Next time.